Happening right now at five, police are searching for a man who they say gunned down another person at a home in the city of South Fulton, leading to an hours long standoff Thursday night. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Faith Jesse. This is something we first brought to you last night. Joe Ripley out at the scene. Police try telling neighbors tonight to keep an eye out. They released the suspect's name and photo today just before noon. 11 Lives Latasha Givens has those details. She's joining us live from the South Fulton Police Department. Well, good evening, Jennifer and Faith. The suspect has been on the run for nearly 24 hours now, and detectives are following all tips and doing everything they can to bring him in before someone else gets hurt. Considered armed and dangerous, and he could be anywhere. South Fulton police are actively searching for this man, 31-year-old Rodney Jarrell. According to police, he's wanted for shooting and killing another man at this home on Lent Post Place on Thursday. It was really chaotic. A lot of cops, a lot of people couldn't get in. They had this place roped off. There was a dead body in the street. Several streets were blocked off for safety, and residents who couldn't be evacuated were told to stay inside as an hours-long standoff played out. Scary. Definitely scary. Myron Herring says he'll never forget seeing the deceased victim through his window lying on the ground for hours as police began collecting evidence. Just witnessed that guy laying right there for six, seven hours. It was it was rough to see. Let's just say it was a little too close for comfort for me. Hours after the SWAT team first arrived, police say they learned Jarrell was gone. Neighbors are relieved he was not found inside the home, a stone's throw away from theirs, but finding out he is now on the run is very concerning. I feel uneasy with him out there. And the name of the victim hasn't been made public yet. The police haven't released a motive or the connection between the victim and the suspect. But if you know the suspect's whereabouts, contact police. They say do not approach him because he is considered armed and dangerous.